Assalamu alaikum and welcome to lecture number 31 for the course Corporate Social Responsibility MGT 610. What we're going to do today is we're going to join two chapters which is chapter number 9 and chapter number 10. Chapter number 9 is about global corporate social responsibility. What are the various global initiatives which have been taken up by various companies? That is all about chapter number 9. Well, chapter number 10 is going to talk about the future of corporate social responsibility or the road ahead. The learning objectives for these two chapters, I've combined these two chapters, are to understand if there's a commonality in corporate social responsibility practices, to understand how CSR will evolve in the future, to analyze the importance of shared growth through different models, to understand that CSR has to be integrated in the business process for sustainable development. So with reference to chapter number 9 and chapter number 10, the learning objectives are simple enough. One, you will, while when you are going to end these two chapters or understand these two chapters, you will understand ke, uh, to, you will understand ke kya hum ek CSR framework sari organizations we apply kar sakte hai and kar sakte and then we will talk about as to how this particular concept will evolve in the future and what is being done with respect to this concept in the future uh, analyze the importance of shared growth and so on and so forth now the very first thing again with chapter number 9 se shudu karungi and I'll go till chapter number 10 and I'm not going to uh, stop in the middle. So aap ko jab aap books kholenge to aap ko automatically pata chal jayega ki kaun se chapter kahan par aata hai. The reason that I've uh, joined these two uh, chapters is because if you will open chapter number 9 uh, what you will see is that the majority of the chapter is about the CSR practices that are being uh, done in various countries. So it's may UK or United States or Indonesia ki example the so examples are very simple they're just explaining the frameworks and the guidelines and the government involvement and what businesses there think about corporate social responsibility so those particular uh, pages and that part of the chapter is um, uh, is for you to self-read yourself and that is the reason that chapter number 10 ki jo important baatein hain wo main aap se aaj discuss kar lungi aur phir chapter number 9 ko uske sath join karke hum usko bhi discuss kar lenge now if we analyze the three words in corporate social responsibility what are those three words corporate social and responsibility it would be easier for us to evaluate whether a common CSR formula can be created. This we've talked about in the last lecture as well. Uh, what we've said is the need is to have a basic uh, common CSR framework on which the international community, the international stakeholders, all stakeholders agree to. And then that basic CSR framework can then be customized according to the needs and the wants and the expectations of companies, countries, cultures. And then that customized framework can then be implemented. So again, the basic purpose again is that you need to have a basic CSR framework However, today, right now, we're evaluating whether a common formula, a common CSR formula can be created. Is that possible or not? Now, corporation is easy to define, and that is in terms of the three words uh, which, are, uh, which make the word corporate social responsibility. So the word corporate social responsibility consists, consists of three words, right? Corporate, social, and responsibility. Corporation is something which is very, very easy to define. I guess every one of you can do it yourself. problem You've already done it yourself. It's a group where a simple layman definition of corporation your company ki padhenge, it's going to be when uh, uh, people working together, investing their money, investing their time, investing their efforts so that they can earn profit. And then the good part with this definition is that there is no confusion about it. Uh, there is a general consensus that company or corporation ka purpose kya hai, wo hoti kya hai, us, wo, uska objective kya hota hai, uski formation ke liye. The second word in corporate social responsibility is society, right, or social. Now, the society includes the wide concept of a national social system to narrow the vision of the surrounding community around a company. Now, problem 
کارپوریٹ سوشل ریسپانسبلٹی میں کہاں آتی ہے سوشل یا سوسائٹی سے ایک پرابلم شروع ہو جاتی ہے سوسائٹی از اے ویری وائڈ کانسیپٹ رائٹ اینڈ آپ کا اس میں نیشنل سوشل سسٹم اس میں انکلوسو ہوتا ہے اٹس ناٹ ویری ایزی ٹو ڈیفائن واٹ سوسائٹی از اٹس ناٹ ویری ایزی ٹو نو کہ جی واٹ آر دا تھنگس وچ آر گوئنگ ٹو بی انکلوڈیڈ ان دا سوسائٹی اینڈ واٹ آر دا ایسپیکٹس وچ آر گوئنگ ٹو بی ایکسکلوڈیڈ ان دا سوسائٹی ناؤ وائی از دس اے پرابلم کہ سوسائٹی کی ڈیفینیشن میں ایشوز کیوں آتے ہیں اگین سوسائٹی کو ایکسپلین یا ڈیفائن ضرور کیا جا سکتا ہے بٹ اٹ کے ناٹ بی ایز ایزیلی ڈیفائنڈ ایز وی ڈیفائن دا ٹرم کارپوریشن Now, one of the reasons that uh, society is difficult to define is that there are a number of actors involved. Multiple log involved hote hain. And then whenever there are multiple people, multiple individuals involved, automatically, aapke number of relationships bhi uske beech mein aa jate hain. So, the very first thing with society is, ke ji, one, aapke no, there are more there is a large number of individuals involved large number of actors involved and when there are a large number of factors and automatically the relationship between those actors those individuals those human beings is there as well and again a relationship ho it's easier to manage but when there are multiple relationships up automatically jo hai aapki relationships management jo hai wo difficult hoti jati hai the second thing is that when we are talking of a society have a close relationship with history and culture isko hum pehle ke chapters mein ڈسکس کر چکے ہیں سوسائٹی از بیسکلی واٹ میکس اے سوسائٹی ٹوڈے از دا ہسٹری اینڈ دا کلچر آف دیٹ پرٹیکولر کنٹری سو جو سوسائٹی کے ڈٹرمیننس ہیں وہ ہسٹری اور کلچر ہیں اینڈ دین ہر کنٹری کی ہسٹری اور ہر کنٹری کا کلچر جو ہے وہ ڈفرینٹ ہوتا ہے ایز اے رزلٹ آف وچ سنس دا ہسٹری اینڈ دا کلچر آر گوئنگ ٹو بی ڈفرینٹ تو سوسائٹی کین از گوئنگ ٹو بی ڈفرینٹ ایز ویل اینڈ یو جسٹ کے ناٹ ہیو ون اسٹینڈرڈائز وے آف ڈیفائننگ اے سوسائٹی بیکاز ہر سوسائٹی ہر کنٹری میں فرق ہوگی And then, as I said, a society is going to be different from country to country. So it is because of these three basic factors that sometimes it becomes extremely difficult, not impossible, but extremely difficult to define or describe what a society is. The third word, word which is included in corporate social responsibility is responsibility. Now, responsibility deals with intangible emotions like accountability and integrity. And as I said, tangible things to measure is very easy. You have you a solid form, you have a weighing scale, you have a weight, you have a monetary form, you have a monetary form, you have a count, you have a count, you have a count, you have a count, but when you are talking of an intangible thing something that you cannot touch something that you cannot hold something that is that you really cannot see اس کو میجر کرنا بہت ڈیفیکلٹ ہوتا ہے اینڈ ریسپانسبلٹی از دیٹ ون تھنگ بیکاز ریسپانسبلٹی از بیسکلی اور اٹ وڈ بیسکلی کنسسٹس آف ایموشنز لائک اکاؤنٹیبلٹی اینڈ انٹیگریٹی سو ایز اے سیٹ میجرنگ آف ریسپانسبلٹی از ناٹ ایزی اٹ کے ناٹ بی سیگریگیٹڈ اور وی کے ناٹ سیگریگیٹ دا ایکشنز آف پالیسیز اف ملٹیپل کمپنیز آر ورکنگ ٹوگیدر اینڈ ادر ایسپیکٹ ٹو ریسپانسبلٹی از ون اٹس ناٹ ایزی ٹو میجر اینڈ ٹو وین ان اے سوسائٹی دیر از گوئنگ ٹو بی اے لارج نمبر آف کمپنیز ورکنگ ان اے سوسائٹی ملٹیپل ایکٹرز جیسے ہم نے پہلے بات کی ملٹیپل ایکٹرز ہوں گے ملٹیپل آرگنائزیشنز ہوں گی سوسائٹی میں دین واٹ ول ہیپن از کہ وی کے ناٹ سیگریگیٹ دا ایکشنز آف تھنگس آپ کی کمپنی اے کمپنی بی کمپنی سی تینوں مارکیٹ میں ہے تینوں کام کریں تینوں کے بہیویئرس ہیں میں کسی ایک پرٹیکولر ایکشن کو لے کر یا ایک پرٹیکولر چیز کو لے کر یہ نہیں کہہ سکتی کہ دس تھنگ ہیپنڈ بیکاز کمپنی اے ڈیڈ دس اور کمپنی بی ڈیڈ دس اور کمپنی سی ڈیڈ دس بیکاز سند ایک انٹینجبل چیزیں ہیں جو کہ ساری کمپنیز کر رہی ہیں ریسپانسبلٹی انٹینجبل ہے دین دیٹ دیٹ ریسپانسبلٹی سنس اٹس انٹینجبل ہم ڈفرینشیٹ نہیں کر سکتے کہ کس کمپنی کی کتنی ریسپانسبلٹی ہے سو دیٹ از واٹ وی مین دیٹ وی کے ناٹ سیگریگیٹ دا ایکشن آف پالیسیز اف ملٹیپل کمپنیز آر ورکنگ ٹوگیدر اگر سوسائٹی میں اگر مارکیٹ میں دیر از جس ون کمپنی ورکنگ دین وی ووڈ نو اف دیٹ کمپنی از ریسپانسبل اور ناٹ بائی لوکنگ ایٹ دا سوسائٹی ٹو سی کے کیا فیوریبل امپیکٹس ہوئے ان کے ایکشنس کے بٹ ونس دے گوئنگ ٹو بی مور دین ون کمپنیز دین ڈفرینسیشن میں پرابلم پڑ جائے گا آپ کو پتہ نہیں چلے گا کہ کیسی چیز کہاں پر ہو رہی ہے فار ایگزامپل وین یو ہیو کڈز ان ان دا یور ہاؤس تو پھر کیا ہوتا ہے ایک چیز خراب ہوتی ہے اینڈ سنس ایئر ٹو کڈس یو ڈونٹ نو کہ کس کس نے کی ہے پھر آپ ان سے پوچھ رہے ہوتے ہیں آپ کے جواب آ رہے ہوتے ہیں اینڈ سو آن اینڈ سو فورتھ آن دی ادر ہینڈ اف دیر جسٹ ون چائلڈ ان دا ہاؤس چیز خراب ہوئی آپ کو آٹومیٹکلی پتہ چل جائے گا کہ اگر آپ نے نہیں کی تو پھر اسی بچے نے کی ہوگی سو وین دیر از اونلی ون 
can come in the society it becomes easy to to pinpoint responsibility that you're responsible for this and you're supposed to do this however when there are multiple companies in a society when there are multiple companies in the market then it becomes extremely difficult to to see KG perhaps segregate nahi kar sakte actions ko ki 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 kis ki kis company ki policy se adverse effects ho rahe hain ya kis company ki policy se positive impacts environment mein आ रहे हैं सो दैट इज़ द सेकेंड थिंग विद रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी जो जो कि आपको प्रॉब्लम आपके लिए क्रिएट कर सकती है सो वैन वी लुक एट दिस डिस्कशन के विद रेफरेंस टू द थ्री वर्ड्स इंडिपेंडेंटली कॉपरेट सोश सोसाइटी एंड रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी वी कैन फाइंड के अगर आप सिर्फ इस वर्ड को भी एनालाइज कर लीजिए तो उसमें भी आपको ये लगेगा कि कॉरपोरेशन के अलावा ओनली कॉरपोरेशन इज दैट वन वर्ड जिस पर जिसको आप एग्जैक्टली डिफाइन क्लैरिफाई डिस्क्राइब कर सकते हैं दैन अदर टू वर्ड सोसाइटी एंड रिलेशनशिप्स आर एक्सट्रीमली और सोसाइटी एंड रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी आर एक्सट्रीमली डिफिकल्ट टू बी डिफाइंड दे आर एक्सट्रीमली डिफिकल्ट टू डिस्क्राइब सो इट इज़ नॉट ईजी कि आप लोग कंपनीज की रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी विद रेफरेंस टू सोसाइटी जो है आप उसको इजीली एक्सप्लेन कर सकें सो द कंक्लूजन दैट वी कैन ड्रॉ फ्रॉम दिस पॉइंट ऑन वर्ड इज दैट यू और वी कैन नॉट फाइंड अ वन फिट फॉर ऑल और वी कैन नॉट फाइंड अ वन वन स्ट्रैटेजी दैट इज गोइंग टू फिट ऑल कंपनीज इट इज नॉट वेरी इजी टू डू दैट और इन अदर वर्ड्स वी कैन नॉट फाइंड वी कैन नॉट फाइंड वन सी एस आर स्ट्रैटेजी वन सी एस आर फ्रेमवर्क दैट इज Uh, that is going to fit on all companies now finding such a framework is not easy that's what we are saying it's not impossible it cannot it's i'm not saying that it cannot be done but what i'm saying is that with reference to the societal differences that exist between countries and cultures with reference to the concept of responsibility that differs from company to company it becomes extremely difficult it's it beca- it's not easy to find or to develop a single a csr strategy or a single csr framework which can fit all and again aapko agar koshish karni hai if you really really want to develop a csr framework or if really companies scientists researchers uh, who want to develop a csr common csr framework then the universal ethical concepts can serve as a basis because what happens with these universal ethical concepts is that everybody is going to have a consensus on what is right and what is wrong for example when we say lying lying is wrong and that's a universal ethical concept right aap kisi bhi country mein chale jaiye aap kisi bhi culture mein chale jaiye aap advanced countries mein jaiye ya underdeveloped countries mein jaiye lying is considered will be considered wrong not right unjust by everybody similarly when we talk of stealing stealing is again another uh, universal ethical concept which will be considered wrong so it won't matter which culture you are in it won't matter what history your country has it won't matter what type of organization you're serving in stealing is such a universal ethical concept which is going to be considered wrong irrespective of where you are so if uh, uh, people individuals groups stakeholders researchers really really want to develop a common csr framework then what is important is that that csr framework that basic csr framework should be based on the universal ethical concepts and that is how jab hum corporate social responsibility ki baat karte hain aapka ethical standards aur moral standards jo hain they are very close to the concept of corporate social responsibility because what is right what should be done for the environment what should be done for the society wo bahut Uh, these concepts are very close to the ethical and the moral standards as well now for implementation socio economic situation and political situation has to be taken into account remember jab humne pehle bhi ek dafa baat ki thi that uh, depending upon which type of country you're living in agar aap developed country mein hai ya developing country mein hai aapke social standards farak honge generally it is seen that there is a relationship what is positive relationship between uh, the socio uh, uh, economic situation of the country and the type of social uh, responsibility standards that are implemented in country when a country is a developed country then that country follows very high 
high social responsibility standards. On the other hand, in countries where uh, there is lesser development or countries which are developing or countries which are underdeveloped, in such countries the, uh, the social standards, the social responsibility standards or high social responsibility standards cannot be implemented. So depending upon what your country is type, you have to see it too. The better the needs analysis, the better CSR practices can be. The third thing that you need to see is you need to analyze the needs of the stakeholders. You, when you use stakeholders approach, use kar rahe hai, jab aap multi -stakeholders approach use kar rahe hai, then you really need to give time, you really need to analyze as to the needs and the expectations of the stakeholders because corporate responsibility is directly related to what the stakeholders want. Aapke investors kya keh rahe hai, aapke customers kya keh rahe hai, aapke supply is kya keh rahe hain, aapke government authorities kya keh rahe hain, aapke regulatory authorities kya keh rahe hain, aapke pressure groups kya keh rahe hain, aapke environmental groups kya keh rahe hain, aapke social groups hai NGOs kya keh rahe hain. So the better the company or the better the analysis of the uh, stakeholders, the better the need analysis of the stakeholder, the chances are that the CS CSR practices are going to be better as well. For example, if you would not do a need analysis, then what will happen is that you are understanding that you have to work for the environment and the need analysis tells you that you have to work for poverty reduction. Ke liye kaam karna hai. When this is the case, so whether the company is doing any work for the environment, ke liye it's not going to work, it's not going to help the society because the priority issue is poverty reduction. So that is, these are the few things that companies, organizations, uh, individuals who want to have a, a basic common CSR framework, they need to look at that. First up, they need to uh, integrate the universal ethical practices in that CSR framework. Two, they need to see the socio-economic uh, conditions of the country. And then they also need to see the political situation of the country. And the third thing that they need to see is that they need to do a very, very good need analysis. They need to analyze the needs in a very comprehensive manner so that needs can be uh, identified and then automatically the CSR practices can be customized according to that. Now, is may aap se ek aur question ye pooch sakte hai is time pe, that when I say that Im for implementation of a CSR framework, the socio-economic situation and the political situation are very important, then what you can ask me is that the socio-economic situation and the political situation is different from country to country. And yes, that is one of the reasons why it is difficult to have a common CSR framework or it is difficult to have common CSR practices because aapke socio-economic conditions bhi differ karengi, aapke political situations bhi differ karengi. For example, when we say democracy, India may be democracy hai, Pakistan may be democracy, is it the same? Is it identical? Jo CSR practices India mein ho rahi hai, kya hum unko Pakistan mein apply kar sakte hai? Uh, let's, let's take example of Bangladesh as well. Bahaan par bhi democracy hai. So jo practices, jaisi policies India mein, uh, Bangladesh mein ban rahi hai, can we have them in Pakistan? No, we cannot. And a lot of time, the, socio, the different socioeconomic situation and the political situation is one of the major hindering blocks, one of the major issues just ki wajah se aapka common framework nahi ban sakta, basic CSR framework uh, on which everybody agrees nahi ban sakta. Finally, what companies need to, uh, need to realize is that CSR practices cannot be imitated. As I just said, what is good in one country, it's not necessary that the same thing is going to be good for the other country as well. So if Bangladesh or India are working for poverty reduction, it's not necessary that Pakistan may be CSR practice poverty reduction ke baare mein hi ho. Shayad hume education ke liye kaam karna hai. Shayad hume environmental degradation ke liye kaam karna hai. So it, it, if, you, if you think ke ji, if one thing is successful, if one practice is successful in one country, it would be, it automatically would be successful in your country. No, it's not true. So CSR practices cannot be imitated from country to country, from company to company, from organization to organization. So it is extremely important, extremely imperative ke ji, Aapki jo companies hai, aapki jo organizations hai, they find their own meaning of corporate social responsibility. Ye toh ne bilkul shuru ke lectures mein aapse discuss kar liya tha, that companies need to find their own magnetic knot. There's no one perfect way of doing CSR. There's, there's no, aapko koi ideal cheese concept, uh, so 
कॉर्पोरेट सोशल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी के बारे में नहीं मिलेगी वॉट इज़ इम्पॉर्टेंट इज वट इज़ नीडेड इज कि कंपनीज अपनी नीड्स अपनी नीड एनालिसिस करके अपने स्टेक होल्डर्स की एक्सपेक्टेशन देख कर अपने सोसाइटल इशूज़ को देख कर अपने इन्वायरमेंटल इशूज़ को देख कर दे मेक अ टेलर मेड और अ कस्टमाइज अप्रोच ऑन कॉपरेट सोशल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी विद रिस्पेक्ट टू विच कंट्री देर इन विद रिस्पेक्ट टू वट कल्चर देर इन विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द हिस्ट्री दैट द कंट्री हैज विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द सोशल प्रॉब्लम दैट द कंट्री इज फेसिंग विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द इन्वायरमेंटल प्रॉब्लम दैट दैट कंट्री इज फेसिंग सो दैट इज वट इज नीडेड टूडे Now, CSR has been around in various forms since ancient times, so we don't really need to think about this. पहले uh, charity होती थी, फिर philanthropy हुई, फिर उसी चीज़ पर आगे काम होता गया, and CSR has become what it has become because it has been there for quite a number of years, for quite a number of generations, and some form on the other uh, or the other, right? So, अगर आप history को पढ़ेंगे भी, अगर आप corporations की history को पढ़ेंगे, companies की history को पढ़ेंगे, you will see कि जो आपके Ford company the even that was doing uh, corporate social responsibility but at that time maybe it was called charity it is being discussed on the world stage at every forum that that is looking at sustainable development and csr is such a common word today it's such an important word today that this particular concept is being discussed at every forum every conference every meeting that one is having on sustainable development because people individuals governments and policy makers have literally made have decided that when we talk of sustainable development sustainable development cannot be achieved without corporate social responsibility the possible ways of achieving symbiosis between the global and local paradigms require us to understand the modern business world so what needs to be done is that when we are advocating corporate social responsibility practices we are saying that corporate social responsibility ki practices jo hain they should be uh, there in the society that the companies should be involved in corporate responsibility but then you also need to understand the global and the local paradigm especially with reference to globalization companies today have huge markets that they are catering for companies today are catering to a very large uh, customer base right so kis tarike se companies jo hain wo global and local paradigms ko manage karti hain integrate karti hain saath lekar chalti hain and then uh, concept of globalization concept of outsourcing concept of doing business internationally concept of doing business locally all of them need to come on a platform and then you need to see ke ji total totality mein organization kaise kaam karti hai kaise chalti hai and then relate corporate social responsibility practices with that and then relate corporate responsibility initiatives with the the modern business world ke ji modern business world mein hum kaise isko integrate kar sakte hain now the next a uh, slide that i will show you will basically show you a simplified explanation of the stages of human existence now this shows the journey of human rights how as human beings we have evolved over the years right initially what we were concerned about was survival and individuals had the freedom to do whatever they had to do in order to survive and automatically jab aap sirf freedom for, with respect to survival tha the only thought process was ki how can i survive what can i do to survive to automatically usme selfishness thi because you were only concerned about ki ji mujhe kya mil raha hai main apne liye kya kar sakta hu main कैसे सर्वाइव कर सकता हूँ एंड दैट वॉज द ड्राइविंग फोर्स बिहाइंड इंडिविजुअल्स एट द स्टार्ट ऑफ द हिस्ट्री जब आप ह्यूमन राइट्स की बात करते हैं जब आप ह्यूमन सिविलाइजेशन की बात करते हैं दैट इज राइट एट द बिगिनिंग जब आप आप रेड इंडियंस की बात करते हैं यू टॉकिंग अबाउट स्मॉल कम्यूनिटीज जो के साथ रहती हैं ऑल द दे वर कंसर्न अबाउट वर सर्वाइवल किस तरीके से कैसे हम डेली बेसिस को गुजारेंगे एंड वेन दे वर ओनली कंसर्न अबाउट द सर्वाइवल तो उसमें ऑटोमेटिकली जो फ्रीडम था वो विद रिस्पेक्ट टू सर्वाइवल था दे वर फ्री येस बट देन वेन वाइल दे वर फ्री दे वर ओनली थिंकिंग about themselves they had very selfish notions about themselves and they were only concerned with survival only now as time progressed then people started thinking about existence because they thought ke 
اگر صرف سروائیول کی بات ہوگی تو پھر ہم آج سے کل اور کل سے پرسوں کی طرف سوچیں گے اینڈ ہم لانگ ٹرم گروتھ یا لانگ ٹرم ڈیولپمنٹ کے بارے میں نہیں سوچ سکتے سو دا تھاٹ پروسیس چینج لٹل بٹ اینڈ پیپل سارٹ اے تھنکنگ فریڈم سے آپ سیکیورٹی کی طرف آئے اب فریڈم کی آپ بات کم کر رہے تھے اور سیکیورٹی کی آپ بات زیادہ کر رہے تھے اور جب یہاں پر آپ فریڈم کی بات کرتے ہیں دیٹ از آلسو وتھ رسپیکٹ ٹو فریڈم فرام ویریس جو کالونیز کو فریڈم ملا جو کمیونٹیز کو فریڈم ملا ویئر بائی پیپل ور ناٹ رولنگ دیم پیپل ور ناٹ ٹیلنگ دیم واٹ ٹو ڈو سو دیٹ از آلسو دس فریڈم رائٹ سو جب آپ کی ہیومن سولائزیشن سارٹ آف چینج گیئرس فرام اونلی فوکسنگ آن سروائیول اینڈ اونلی تھنکنگ اباؤٹ سیلفشنیس اور دا اونلی ایموشن دیر واز سیلفشنیس تو نیکسٹ فیز واز اباؤٹ ایگزٹینس از سیلف انٹرسٹ اور وہاں پر آپ سیکیورٹی کے بارے میں سوچنا شروع ہو گئے نہ جب سیکیورٹی کے بارے میں سوچیں گے دین یو ول آٹومیٹکلی اسٹارٹ تھنکنگ آف کہ جی کس طریقے سے کمیونٹیز ڈیولپ ہوتی ہیں کہ وین پیپل آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ لیونگ ٹوگیدر آٹومیٹکلی دا مور پیپل لیو ٹوگیدر موسٹ پرابلی وہ اتنے ہی زیادہ انوائرمنٹل ایشوز سے اور باقی ڈینجرس سے سیف ہوں گے سو دا نیکسٹ فیز آف دا ہیومن رائٹس اور دا نیکسٹ فیز آف دا ہیومن سولائزیشن واز بیسکلی جہاں پر سیکیورٹی کا کانسیپٹ آ گیا اور ایگزٹینس کی بات ہونے لگی اور سیلف انٹرسٹ کی بات ہونے لگی دا تھرڈ فیز جہاں جو کہ اب اب ہے جس میں ہم رہ رہے ہیں دیٹ از اباؤٹ رسپانسبلٹی وے پیپل سارٹ اے تھنکنگ اباؤٹ کہ جی ہماری رسپانسبلٹیز کیا ہیں واٹ آر دا ویریس تھنگس دیٹ وی ایز انڈیویژولس اینڈ کمیونٹیز اینڈ گروپس آر سپوز ٹو ڈو اینڈ دیٹ از وے پیپل سارٹ اے تھنکنگ اباؤٹ سسٹینبلٹی ایز ٹو ہاؤ کین وی سسٹین فار لانگر پیریڈ آف ٹائم جو چیزیں ہمیں آج ملی ہیں ہاؤ کین وی انشور کہ یہ چیزیں آگے فیوچر جنریشنس کے لیے بھی اویلیبل ہوں The second thing was the most important emotion was selflessness. Selflessness is when you th- don't think about yourself only. Selflessness, selflessness is when you think about the benefits that you're going to give to the others. So that is how through this particular slide you can very clearly see as to how we have progressed as uh, as individuals as humans ke ji hum jahan par hum pehle freedom ka sochte the freedom jab hum logon ko mil gaya to phir humne security ke bare mein sochna shuru kar diya aur jab security mil gayi to ab hum responsibility ke bare mein sochte hain aur when we are thinking about responsibility we are automatically thinking about sustainability and sustainability cannot be without selflessness because agar aap sustainability ki baat karenge so that means ke mujhe aaj pani kam istemal karna hai so that meri فیوچر جنریشنس کو بھی پانی ملے آج میں رسپانسبلی اپنی انوائرمنٹ کو پروٹیکٹ کروں گی تاکہ کل میری جو جنریشنس ہیں ان کو بھی ایسی ہی انوائرمنٹ ملے یا اس سے بہتر انوائرمنٹ ملے سو وین آئی ایم کلوز ان دا ٹیپ وٹ آئی ایم ڈوئنگ از دیٹس اے سیلف لیس ایکٹ بیکاز میرا ٹیپ کلوز کرنا از ناٹ گوئنگ ٹو بینیفٹ می اٹس گوئنگ ٹو بینیفٹ دا فیوچر جنریشنس وچ آر گوئنگ ٹو کم آفٹر می سو دیٹ از بیسکلی ہاؤ یور انٹائر سولائزیشن ہیو پروگریس کے جہاں پہ جہاں صرف فریڈم کے بارے میں بریکنگ اوے فرام دا شیکلس بریکنگ اوے فرام دا روپس جی جو سلیوری کی روپس تھی وہاں سے شروع ہوا پھر سیکیورٹی کے بارے میں بات آئی اور اب ہم رسپانسبلٹی کے بارے میں سوچتے ہیں جب آپ کارپوریٹ رسپانسبلٹی کو ڈسکس کریں گے جب آپ کارپوریٹ سوشل رسپانسبلٹی کے بارے میں بات کریں گے تو اس میں بہت ساری ایسی آرگنائزیشنس ہیں ہو ہیو پلیڈ ویری ویری امپورٹنٹ رول ود رسپیکٹ ٹو کہ جی کیسے چیزیں ہونی چاہیے اور کیسے چیزیں نہیں ہونی چاہیے نا ون آف دوز ویری ویری امپورٹنٹ آرگنائزیشنس وچ ہیو اور وچ ہیز پلیڈ این ایکسٹریملی امپورٹنٹ رول ود ریفرنس ٹو ایڈوکیٹنگ دا امپورٹنس آف کارپوریٹ responsibility and with reference to ensuring that individuals apni social environment or apni environment ka khayal rakhe is united nations now united nations ne millennium development goals or mdgs as they are called develop kiye now there are eight international development goals that were officially established following the millennium summit of the united nations in 2000 following the adoption of the united nation millennium declaration all 193 United Nations member states and at least 23 international organizations have agreed to achieve these goals by the year 2015 the members of sustainability ka jo chapter ki baat ki thi aur main sustainability mein kaha tha ki ek to jo aapka brendan report thi commission thi that 
played a very, very important role in giving us or clarifying the definition of sustainability. The second important thing with reference to sustainability that we discussed was that when you talk sustainability goals, when you talk about sustainability as a, as a, def uh, as a concept, when you talk about sustainable development, so these concepts to successfully implement and concepts to ensure that these concepts are there to exist, you have to give time-bound targets. आपको टाइम बाउंड टाइम फ्रेम्ड गोल्स देने पड़ेंगे और उसमें हमने तीन गोल्स की बात की थी सम शॉर्ट टर्म गोल्स विच वर टिल ट्वेंटी फिफ्टीन दैन वी टॉक्ट अबाउट द ऑलमोस्ट एन इंटरमीडिएट टर्म गोल्स जो कि ट्वेंटी फिफ्टी तक थे एंड दैन वी टॉक्ट अबाउट लॉन्ग टर्म गोल्स जो कि आफ्टर ट्वेंटी फिफ्टी के बाद अचीव होने थे ना द एम डी जीज और द मिलेनियम डिवेलपमेंट गोल्स आर द शॉर्ट टर्म गोल्स द यूनाइटेड नेशन हैव सेट फॉर इट्स मेम्बर्स कंट्री इन टर्म्स ऑफ सस्टेनेबिलिटी के जी सस्टेनेबिलिटी के रेफरेंस से हमारे टारगेट्स बाई ट्वेंटी फिफ्टीन ये हैं विच द Member uh, countries of the UN should achieve by 2015. Now the goals are the eight goals are these: eradicating extreme poverty and hunger. That's goal number one. And then later on in the slides, we're going to tell you exactly that when you talk about goals, 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 Third is promoting gender equality and empowering women. Fourth is reducing child mortality rates. Fifth is improving maternal health. Sixth is combating HIV, AIDS and malaria and other diseases. And seventh is ensuring environmental sustainability. And lastly, you have developing a global partnership for development. So these are the eight goals which come under the Millennium Development Goals. Now, इसका कॉर्पोरेट सोशल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी से क्या ताल्लुक है इसका ताल्लुक बहुत क्लियर और बहुत सीधा है ना वेन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन लाइक यू एन गिव दीज मिलीनियम डिवेलपमेंट गोल्स एंड ऑटोमेटिकली द मेम्बर स्टेट्स विच पाकिस्तान इज अ मेम्बर टू यू एन एज वेल आर सपोज टू अचीव दीज गोल्स विद इन देर ओन कंट्रीज वन ना वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस दिस फैक्ट दैट गवर्नमेंट्स के नॉट अलोन वर्क for the betterment of the societies and the environment. Government ko ek helping hand chahiye hai. Wo helping hand koon sa hota hai? Corporations ka, enterprise ka, businesses ka. So that means businesses bhi equation mein aage. Jab businesses ke paas ye saare priority areas honge as identified by UN which is a independent body to automatically businesses ko pata hooga ke ji hum ne in areas mein प्रायोरिटी बेसिस पर अपने कॉर्पोरेट रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी इनिशिएटिव टेकअप करने हैं बिकॉज दीज आर द एरियाज विच आर ऑफ अटमोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंस टू एवरीबडी दीज डे सो आपको आपके बिजनेसेस को आपके कॉरपोरेशन को एक हेड स्टार्ट मिल जाता है जहाँ पर जो जब आप नीड एनालिसिस की बात करते हैं कि जो आपने अपने नीड एनालिसिस करना इन टर्म्स ऑफ स्टेक होल्डर्स जस्ट थिंक दैट नीड एनालिसिस हैज बी डन हैज बीन डन बाई यूनाइटेड नेशन विच टेल्स यू एग्जैक्टली कि कौन से एरियाज हैं जो कि अटमोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंस के एरियाज हैं जहां पर गवर्नमेंट्स को और कॉर्पोरेशन को काम करना है ना ईच ऑफ द गोल्स है स्पेसिफिक स्टेटेड टारगेट्स एंड डेट्स फॉर अचीविंग दो टारगेट्स दैट्स वाई दे आर टाइम बाउंड गोल्स के आपने ट्वेंटी फिफ्टीन तक अचीव कर लेने हैं टू एक्सलरेट प्रोग्रेस द जी एट फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर्स एग्रीड इन जून टू थाउजेंड एंड फाइव टू प्रोवाइड इनफ फंड टू द वर्ल्ड बैंक द इंटरनेशनल मॉनिटरी फंड एंड द एफ्रिकन डेवलपमेंट बैंक टू कैंसल एन एडिशनल फोर्टी टू फिफ्टी फाइव बिलियन इन डेट ओड बाय मेंबर्स ऑफ द हेवली इंडेटेड पुअर कंट्रीज टू एम्प्लॉ टू अलाउ इम्प्रोवाइज कंट्रीज टू रीच ऑन द रिसोर्स सेव्ड फ्रॉम द फॉरन डेट टू सोशल प्रोग्राम्स फॉर इम्प्रूविंग हेल्थ एंड एजुकेशन एंड फॉर एलिविएटिंग पॉवर्टी सो वट हैपन्ड वट वर द इनिशिएटिव टेकन सो दैट द चांसेस के इन सारे जो आपके मिलीनियम डेवलपमेंट गोल्स हैं ये फुलफिल हो जाए वट वर द थिंग्स डन 
کہ جی آپ کی گول اچیومنٹ جو ہے وہ ایکسلریٹ ہو جائے ون مور منی واز گیون ٹو ورلڈ بینک اینڈ انٹرنیشنل مانیٹری فنڈ اینڈ دین اگین ورلڈ بینک آئی ایم ایف اور دا ایفریکن ڈیولپمنٹ بینک نے جو لونس دیے تھے وچ اماؤنٹ ٹو فورٹی ٹو ففٹی فائیو بلین ڈالرس یہ لونس ان تینوں انسٹیٹیوشنس نے آپ کی یا تو ڈیولپنگ کنٹریز کو دیے ہوں گے یا انڈر ڈیولپڈ کنٹریز کو دیے ہوں گے سو واٹ واز ڈسائڈیڈ واز کہ جتنے بھی لونس آپ کی ہیولی انڈیڈ پور کنٹریز نے لیے ہیں وہ سارے لون اسپیشلی ود ریفرنس ٹو ورلڈ بینک آئی ایم ایف اینڈ ایفریکن ڈیولپمنٹ بینک وہ کینسل کر دیے جائیں گے وہ ختم کر دیے جائیں گے وہ رائٹ آف کر دیے جائیں گے دا پرپز فار رائٹنگ آف دیز لونس واز دیٹ انسٹیڈ کہ وہ جو ہیولی انڈیٹڈ کمپنی ہے وہ اپنی لون اماؤنٹ پے بیک کرے اور اس پر انٹرسٹ دے اس سے بہتر ہے کہ وہ اسی اماؤنٹ ہے جو کہ وہ لون کی ری پیمنٹ میں ڈالے گی اس اماؤنٹ سے وہ اپنی کنٹری میں اپنی کنٹری کی سوسائٹی کے لیے کام کرے ود ریفرنس ٹو دا ایم ڈی جیز وہ اپنی کنٹری کے انوائرمنٹ کے لیے کام کرے ود ریفرنس ٹو دا ایم ڈی جیز سو دا پرپز واز دیٹ دیز ہیولی انڈیٹڈ کمپنی کنٹریز شوڈ ناٹ پے بیک their loans and the interest accumulated on that but they should use that money to work for improving health and education and for alleviating poverty which are part of the Millennium Development Goals. Debate has surrounded adoptions of the MDGs focusing on lack of analysis and justification behind the chosen objectives. The difficulty or lack of measurement for some of the goals and uneven progress towards reaching the goals among other criticisms. So just like any other initiative, MDGs were criticized and what was the criticism? کرٹیسزم واز بیسکلی کہ جی وائل ڈیولپنگ دیز گولس آپ کا انالیسس صحیح طریقے سے نہیں تھا آبجیکٹوز اٹ ور چوزن ور ناٹ دا رائٹ آبجیکٹوز اٹ از ویری ڈیفیکلٹ ٹو میجر سم آف دا گولس کہ جی جو آپ نے گول سیٹ کیے ہیں ان کی میجرمنٹ کرنا بہت ڈیفیکلٹ ہے یا ان کو ان کا رزلٹ فائنڈ کرنا بہت ڈیفیکلٹ ہے بیکاز اگین ان ٹینجبل آسپیکٹ کی وجہ سے یو وڈ ناٹ نو ایگزیکٹلی آپ ان کو ایگزیکٹلی میجر نہیں کر سکو گے ٹو سی اف دا گولس ور اچیوڈ اور ناٹ اف دا آبجیکٹوز ور اچیوڈ اور ناٹ اینڈ فائنلی آپ کی ان ایون پروگرس بھی ہے مے بی کچھ کنٹریز آر گوئنگ ٹو پروگریس ٹوورڈس اے گولڈ ویری ویری فاسٹ اینڈ دین دیر ول بی ادر کنٹریز جن کی گول اچیومنٹ جو ہے وہ اتنی اچھی یا اتنی فاسٹ نہیں ہوگی سو دیر از ان ایون پروگرس ود رسپیکٹ ٹو دا ود رسپیکٹ ٹو اچیونگ ایم ڈی جیز اینڈ دین یو آئی آلسو نیڈ ٹو تھنک اٹ دس از ٹوینٹی تھرٹین نا یہ دا یو این ڈیولپمنٹ گولس ہیں یہ اچیو ہوئے یا نہیں ہوئے یو جسٹ ہیو ٹو مور ایئرس اینڈ ود ان دوز ٹو مور ایئرس کنٹریز ہیو ٹو گیٹ دیز گولس کمپنیز کنٹریز ہیو ٹو اچیو دیز گولس All the developed countries' aid for achieving the MDGs has been rising over recent years. More than half the aid is towards debt relief owed by poor countries. With much of the remaining aid money going towards natural disaster relief and military aid, which do not uh, further development. So, uh, I, I guess this is particular, which we have read in the slide, you can use the example of Pakistan. Pakistan, the aid is coming, Pakistan, the loan is being taken, what is it being used for? Simply for repayment of loans. Your World Bank loan is due, you don't have any money, you don't have any money, you don't have any money. اور ورلڈ بینک کو دے دیتے ہیں پھر آپ کے پاس کہیں اور کسی آپ کا آئی ایم ایف کا لون ڈیو جاتا ہے آپ پھر ورلڈ بینک سے بورو کرتے ہیں اور آئی ایم ایف کو دے دیتے ہیں سو وٹ کنٹری لائک پاکستان اے ڈیولپنگ کنٹری از ڈوئنگ از یس یس اٹس گیٹنگ منی ان لونس یس اٹس ٹیکنگ لونس فرام انسٹیٹیوشنس بٹ دیٹ لونڈ منی انسٹیڈ آف یوزنگ اٹ ٹو اچیو دا ایم ڈی جیز دیٹ لونڈ منی از یوزڈ to repay the loans that has been uh, taken from uh, countries and entities and institutions and other agencies, right? So basically, masla kya aata hai ki MDGs are very, very good. They should be achieved and if they are achieved, automatically companies ko, uh, countries ko bohat fayda hoga. Lekin inko achieve karne ke liye, you need money. You need a lot of money. Aapko infrastructure development karne ho ti. Aapko bohat jaga paisa use karna padta. اب ڈیولپنگ کنٹری میں پیسہ کہاں سے آ گیا خود کی جنریشن تو اتنی ہوتی نہیں ہے اگین ٹیکسز کم ہیں اینڈ سو مینی ادر ریزنس آپ جو لون بھی لیتے ہیں اس کو بھی ری پیمنٹ کے لیے ہی یوز کرتے ہیں انسٹیڈ آف یوزنگ اٹ 
for uh, achieving the MDGs. Now, progress towards reaching the goals has been uneven. Some countries have achieved many of the goals, while, uh, while others are not on track to realize any. A UN conference in September 2010 reviewed progress to date and concluded with the adoption of a global action plan to achieve the eight anti-poverty goals by their 2015 target date. There were also new commitments on women and children's health and new initiatives in the worldwide battle against poverty, hunger and disease. So basically, uh, efforts are happening, things are happening, the UN is showing commitment. Show kar raha hai. But if you look at ground reality, ko dekhenge, then there would be some countries who have goals achieved. Kar diye. Then there would be other countries where corruption is a lot, bribes are a lot, and there are a lot of problems where they have goals achieved. Nahin ke. Again, the point is that the Millennium Development Goals were set, were made so that com countries could achieve them and improve the state of their society and improve the state of the environment. And these goals actually become a basis for corporate responsibility as well because they give companies an idea that these are the priority areas where you have multinational companies, where you local uh, companies can work and then they can work towards the responsible business. Ki baat karte hai. Responsible business is when a company is going to undertake these goals as part of their social and environmental performance and try to achieve them with of course the help of the government. Now the next few slides that we will see together will basically tell you that when we talk about these goals, ki baat karte hai, what are these eight goals all about and what are the things that are in it and what are the things that are in it and what exactly hum, within these eight goals, what are the sub-goals, that's what we're going to uh, see. And then you'll see that when you look at these eight goals, ko dekhte hai, they provide ample avenues, they provide a lot of ideas uh, to corporations, enterprises and businesses to initiate their uh, corporate responsibility and uh, to start being responsible and with reference to the business if they can the goals ko, uh, fulfill kar sake, ya in sare issues ko take up kar sake. the first goal was to eradicate extreme poverty and hunger now within the goal one aapke then targets us goal ke andar aapke various targets hain half the proportion of people living on less than one percent a day so that just tells you keji almost half of the population of the world is living on less than one dollar a day less than one dollar ka matlab hai ki agar aaj dollar 96 per hai so that means keji half of this world's population is earning less than 96 rupees in a day so you need to see keji aapke which is what is the proportion of population below one dollar per day that's PPP values poverty gap ratio ko aapko reduce karna hoga and share of poorest quantile in national consumption dekhna hoga ke ji jo national consumption ho rhi hai us mein kitne saare log jo hain wo below poverty line rehte hain kitne saare log aise hain jinki income jo hai wo less than a dollar hai second is achieve decent employment for women men and young people so that's the second goal of that that's a second target which comes under eradicating extreme poverty and hunger usme aap gdp growth per employed person dekhte hain you look at the employment rate and you try to improve that proportion of employed population below 1 dollar per day and proportion of family based worker in employed population so agar aapne decent employment ko achieve karna hai for men women and younger people then these are all the things or these are all the aspects that a company or a, or a government should look at Target 1C is half the proportion of people who suffer from hunger, prevalence of underweight children under 5 years of age, proportion of population below minimum level of dietary energy consumption. You need to see these figures to realize how important these issues are, how important, especially when you, if you have National Geographic, Holiday, so many times we're running documentaries uh, on, on African countries, where extreme poverty is hai hai, and uske lava wahan par malnutrition is hai. And you'll see these small kids who are all bones. There's, there's nothing on top of their bones. And we were malnourished, hote hai, and then that's the way that they die as well. So these are the issues. When you look at how many underweight children are, how many malnourished children are, how dietary requirements are not full. And these are the things that you need to look at. And these are the things that companies, countries, enterprises, organizations need to improve. So that is what 
दीज आर द थ्री टारगेट जो कि आपके इराडिकेशन ऑफ एक्सट्रीम पॉवर्टी एंड हंगर में आते हैं आपने यू नीड टू इम्प्रूव द नंबर ऑफ पीपल हु आर लिविंग बिलो लेस एन वन डॉलर डे यू नीड टू अचीव डिसेंट एम्प्लॉयमेंट फॉर मैन वेमेन एंड यंगर पीपल एंड यू नीड टू डू समथिंग टू इम्प्रूव द स्टेट ऑफ पीपल हु सफर फ्राम हंगर गोल टू इज अचीविंग यूनिवर्सल प्राइमरी एजुकेशन टारगेट्स विद इन दिस पर्टिकुलर गोल इज बाई ट्वेंटी फिफ्टीन ऑल चिल्ड्रन कैन कम्प्लीट अ फुल कोर्स ऑफ प्राइमरी स्कूल इन गर्ल्स एंड बॉयज सो द टारगेट विद इन द गोल टू ऑफ द एन डी जीज इज दैट बाई ट्वेंटी फिफ्टीन एवरी किड लिविंग इन दिस वर्ल्ड एवरी चाइल्ड लिविंग इन दिस वर्ल्ड शुड हैव कम्प्लीटेड अ फुल कोर्स ऑफ प्राइमरी स्कूलिंग अब आप ये भी क्वेश्चन कर सकते हैं कि जब आप पाकिस्तान की रेफरेंस से बात करते थे जस्ट लुक अराउंड योर सेल्फ वेर आर वी विद रेफरेंस टू अचीविंग दिस पर्टिकुलर गोल वेर डू वी एज अ गवर्नमेंट स्टैंड वेर डू वी एज रिस्पॉन्सिबल सिटीजन स्टैंड एंड वेर डू वी एज एज अ सोसाइटी विच इज एडवोकेटिंग कॉपरेट रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी स्टैंड जब आप प्राइमरी एजुकेशन की बात करेंगे तो आप इनरोलमेंट इन प्राइमरी एजुकेशन की बात करेंगे कम्प्लीशन ऑफ प्राइमरी एजुकेशन की बात करेंगे एंड एवरी वन विल गेट इन टू अ स्कूल की बात करेंगे और जब आप ये इन तीनों ऑप्शन या इन तीनों चीज़ों को पॉइंट्स को देखेंगे फिर आप उन न्यूज़ आइटम को भी ज़रूर जहन में रखिएगा कि जब आपको आपके हेडलाइंस पर आ देंगे जी प्राइमरी स्कूल है बना हुआ है लेकिन टीचर्स नहीं हैं बच्चे हैं लेकिन उस्ताद नहीं हैं सो पीपल हेयर इन पाकिस्तान are not getting this are, are not achieving this the third goal for mdg is to promote gender equality and empower women now the targets within this particular goal is to first eliminate gender disparity in primary and secondary education preferably by 2005 and at all levels by 2015 where do you think we stand kya ye difference ke ji bachchi hai to school nahi jayegi aur ladka hai to school jayega is that difference no longer or does that difference no longer exist in pakistan no you go to villages today you go to uh, uh, urban uh, rural areas today and you'll exactly see this difference ye bachche isko school bhejenge kya zarurat hai iski to ji shaadi honi ladka hai to wo school bhi jayega college bhi jayega aur shayad agar wo lucky hua to university bhi chala jayega so this discrimination has to be removed child be it a boy or a girl has to have a right to get primary education so gender equality extremely zaruri hai ratios of girls to boys in primary secondary and tertiary education share of women in wage employment in the non agricultural sector this is ex- extremely important especially pakistan ke reference se bhi aap agar aap ye bhawalpur wagaira ki side pe chale jaiye you will see so many women plucking cotton from cotton fields but agar aap unse wages ka puchhenge salaries ka puchhenge they will not be getting any ya agar unko mil rahi bhi agar mil bhi rahi hongi then they would be below the rate that the others get proportion of seats held by women in national parliament for girls in some region education remains elusive poverty is a major barrier to education especially among older girls in every developing region except the cis men outnumber women in paid employment women are largely reg- relegated to more vulnerable forms of employment women are over represented uh, are over represented in informal employment with its lack of benefit and security top level jobs still go to men to an overwhelming degree women are slowly rising to political power but mainly when boosted by quotas and other special measures so this is basically ki aapka goal is to eliminate gender disparity and uh, in primary and secondary education and aap in jab in sab cheezon ko dekhenge in sab aspects ko in sab points ko improve karenge automatically gender disparity khatam ho jayegi automatically equality between men and women ki baat hone lagegi automatically there's going to be no distinction between a, a boy getting a job and a girl getting a job or a man getting a job or a woman getting a job goal 4 is to reduce child mortality rates the target with this in this respect is to reduce uh, reduce by 2/3 between 1990 and 2015 the under 5 mortality rate do you know how many p how many how many children how many kids which are below the age of 5 die because they do not have access to uh, maybe medicines maybe they do not have access to proper diagnosis maybe they do not have access to doctors and and other things and other medical care and that's the reason that they die so one of the areas which has to be improved is that one needs to reduce the mortality rate 
uh, of, uh, of children who are under 5. Under 5 mortality rate, infant under 1 mortality rate, and proportion of 1-year-old children immunized against measles. Ye bhi dekhna padta hai. And then, when you look at this, then I, I don't know if it is coming in your mind or not, then you'll see that when we talk about Pakistan mein polio eradication, ki baat karte hai, to uske liye kya hota hai? Where you, you have people who uh, polio workers ko jo ke polio vaccines administer karte hain you have people jo un, unka murder kar dete hain un, un, they, they kill such volunteers jo ke aapki polio eradication ke liye kaam kare now these are the problems and these are the issues that a country like pakistan faces with faces with respect to the Millennium Development Goals. Now, goal number five is to improve maternal health. Mothers ki health improve karna bahut zaruri hai because when the health of the mother is going to improve, automatically the health of the baby will also improve. Now, the target in that respect is to reduce by three quarters between 1990 and 2015 the maternal mortality ratio. Maternal mortality ratio and proportion of birth attended by skilled health personnel. Target number 5B or the target within goal 5 is achieve by 2015 universal access to reproductive health. And then aap hi sari cheezen bhi jo hain, wo with reference to reproductive health dekhte hain. Goal 6 is to combat HIV, AIDS, malaria and other diseases. Now the target with that references have halted by 2015 and begun to reverse the spread of HIV AIDS. So the target was that by 2015 the spread of HIV here that would have been halted and aapka reverse may aapki cheese chili jangi jahapa instead of things getting worse, they will start getting better with reference to these diseases. And then up automatically sari cheese and johe unko dekte hai or parte. Next is uh, the, the next target or the uh, target within the goal uh, 6 is achieve by 2010 universal access to treatment for HIV AIDS for all those who need it. Proportion of population with advanced HIV infection with access to anti uh, uh, with access to anti HIV drugs. So that's again a target KG by 2015 by uh, that this target had to be achieved by 2010 KG HIV anti HIV drugs hai, you need to uh, give them to those and then these are very expensive drugs you need to give them to those who have HIV, who are HIV positive the next target within goal 6 is to have halted by 2015 and begun to reverse the incidence of malaria and other major diseases in all parts of the world. Prevalence and death rates associated with malaria, proportion of children under 5 sleeping under insecticides treated bed nets, proportion of children under 5 with fever who are treated with appropriate anti-malarial drugs and proportion of tuberculosis cases detected and cured under directly observed treatment short courses. So that is again a target which comes under goal number six. Goal number seven is basically to ensure environmental sustainability and the targets within this particular goal is to integrate the principles of sustainable development into country policies and programs, reverse loss of environmental resources. So, yaha par hum policy makers ki taraf aage, that policy makers need to make rules, regulations, guidelines so that they can integrate sustainable development within their policy framework and then they need to make guidelines so that the loss with reference to the, the environment is reversed. So, jo pehle Jo problems environment ko ho gai, today we need to work in a way that all the issues or problems hai, wo rectify ho jai, reverse ho jai, ya at least minimize ho jai. Next target within goal number 7 is reduce biodiversity loss achieving by 2010 a significant reduction in the rate of losses. Proportion of land area covered by forest, carbon dioxide emissions total per capita and per $1 GDP, consumption of ozone depleting substances, proportion of fish stocks within safe biological limits, proportion of total water resources used, proportion of terrestrial and marine areas protected and proportion of species threatened with extinction. So all these things should be seen and the losses with respect to all these things should be reduced so that aapki jo biodiversity hai wo improve ho jai aur aapki general environment jo hai wo sahi ho jai. The next target with reference to goal number 7 is to half by 2015 the proportion of the population without sustainable access to safe drinking water and basic sanitations. 
सो यू नीड टू सी के जी आपकी कितनी पॉपुलेशन है जिसको एक्सेस टू इम्प्रूव वाटर सोर्सेज हैं अर्बन एरियाज में भी और रूरल एरियाज में भी एंड देन यू नीड टू सी के जी इम्प्रूव सैनिटेशन कितने परसेंट ऑफ द पॉपुलेशन इज गेटिंग एक्सेस टू इम्प्रूव सैनिटेशन द लास्ट टारगेट विद रेफरेंस टू गोल नंबर सेवन इज बाई ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू हैव अचीव सिग्निफिकेंट इम्प्रूवमेंट इन द लाइफ ऑफ एटलीस्ट हंड्रेड मिलियन स्लम ट्वेलर्स दैन यू अगेन स्लम ट्वेलर्स आर दोज पीपल जो कि विद इन द सिटी रहते हैं बट स्लम्स हो जाते हैं सो अगर आप लेट से कि इस्लामाबाद में रह रहे हैं इस्लामाबाद में भी अभी भी बहुत सारे स्लम्स हैं आपके एफ सेवन में भी अवेलेबल है आपके एफ सिक्स के अंदर भी है जहाँ पर द वेरी पुअर मेकअप दे मेक शिफ्ट हाउसेज और वो मेक शिफ्ट हाउसेज एक नहीं होते वो आपकी पूरी की पूरी आबादी बन जाती है एंड दैट इज वट स्लम्स आर द गोल नंबर एट of the uh, of mdg is to develop a global partnership for development now the targets within this particular goals are to develop further an open rule based predictable non discriminatory non discriminatory trading and financial system so the in order to have in order to develop global partnerships for development you need to have transparency you need to be you need to have accountability and you need to have an open rule based financial system and trading system next target is to address the special needs of the least developed countries ldc so this would include tariff and quota free access for uh, ldc's exports enhanced program of debt relief a cancellation of official bilateral debt and more generous oda which is official development assistance since for countries committed to poverty reduction the third target with reference to goal number 8 is address the special needs of land locked developing countries and small island developing states so aapko developed under developed countries ke bare mein bhi baat ho rahi hai developing countries ke bare mein bhi baat ho rahi hai the next target is to deal comprehensively with the debt with the debt problem of developing countries through national and international measures in order to make debt sustainable in the long run सो so, स्पेशली अगर हम पाकिस्तान के रेफरेंस से इसकी बात करें और इसको डिस्कस करें तो ये बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट होता है जो हमने पहले भी बात की इट वी आर सो इंडेटेड कि हम लोन इसलिए और ले रहे हैं ताकि हम अपने पिछले लोन्स की पेमेंट कर सकें सो वट इज हैपनिंग एक्चुअली इज इट सच अ विश साइकिल दैट वट एवर मनी दैट वी आर मेकिंग एंड वट एवर मनी दैट वी आर गेटिंग वी आर जस्ट यूजिंग ऑल दिस मनी टू पे बैक द लोन्स दैट वी हैव इंस्टेड we do not have the money to spend on uh, the millennium development goals we do not have money to spend on development of infrastructure we do not have money to spend on improving uh, the society and maybe improving the environment we do not have the money to spend on uh, welfare of people and betterment of communities because jitna paisa aapke paas hai usse to aapki debt hi agar aap kisi tarike se pura kar le to bahut badi baat ho jayegi सो आपका अगेन मार्केट एक्सेस जो है वो भी आपका गोल नंबर एट में आता है उसमें आपका प्रपोर्शन ऑफ टोटल डेवलप्ड कंट्रीज इम्पोर्ट्स बाय वैल्यू फ्रॉम डेवलपिंग कंट्रीज आप कंपैरिजन कर रहे होते हैं एवरेज टैरिफ्स को देख रहे होते हैं डेथ सस्टेनेबिलिटी को देख रहे होते हैं विच इज बेसिकली टोटल नंबर ऑफ टोटल नंबर ऑफ कंट्रीज दट हैव रीच देयर एच आई पी सी डिसीजन पॉइंट्स एंड नंबर दट हैव रीच देयर एच आई पी सी कम्पलीशन पॉइंट्स क्यूमुलेटिव करके आप उसको मालूम कर रहे होते हैं द अदर द लास्ट two targets with reference to goal number 8 is in cooperation with pharmaceutical companies provide access to affordable essential drugs in developing countries extremely important aapke general jo aapka health system hai kisi country ke liye uske liye zaruri hai that the medicines are affordable and in that respect aapka target 8 jo hai 8e jo hai that's extremely effective and then target 8f is in cooperation with the private sector make available the benefits of new technologies especially information and communication so uh, the governments with with collaborations with the private sector on co communication on information technologies ko they need to use them make them available for the public and use them for the betterment of the public so a very uh, the last few slides jo humne padhi they, they've just shown you how comprehensive the millennium development goals are and if a country any country even pakistan achieves only half of them then you can see ke hum as a country kahan par progress kar sakte hain ya kahan par ja sakte hain and then i would also want you to look introspectively and and see ki ji pakistan with respect to these millennium development goals kahan par hai aur kis jagah par uh, where, where has it reached with reference to achieving these millennium development goals and then you will see ke ji where do we stand 
now having said that i can see those frowns on your faces thinking ke how will we learn all this or ye hum kaise samjhenge aur kaise karenge the purpose of all these slides is for you not to ratify them so ratna ya inko by heart remember karna is not the purpose your purpose can only be solved aapko batane ka ye purpose ye tha ki jo millennium development goals hain which are very important goals with reference to sustainability or sustainability hamare liye utni kitni zaruri hai with respect with respect to corporate responsibility so agar hum corporate responsibility ki baat karenge to hame pehle sustainability ki baat karni hogi sustainability ko achieve karne ke liye आपके जो मिलेनियम डेवलपमेंट गोल्स हैं वो बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट हैं सो द पर्पस ऑफ टॉकिंग अबाउट द मिलेनियम डेवलपमेंट गोल्स इन डिटेल वॉज सिंपली सो दैट यू कैन सी कि वो कितने कॉम्प्रीहेंसिव गोल्स हैं जो कि पॉवर्टी रिडक्शन से लेकर डिजीज रेडिकेशन से लेकर एजुकेशन से लेकर वेमेन एम्पावरमेंट से लेकर इन्वायरमेंटल इशू से लेकर आपके डिवेलपमेंट अमंग कंट्रीज तक की बात करते हैं एंड वेन कंट्रीज टू दिस एंड वेन कंट्रीज विल फोकस ऑन दिस दैन ऑटोमेटिकली द कॉरपोरेशन will also focus on these goals and by using their corporate responsibility initiatives they will help countries achieve these goals which will uh, for which will be for the benefit of the society which will be for the improvement of the environment and generally for the welfare of communities people everybody who's living in a particular country with reference to papers assignment quizzes uh, you're not going to be tested kg बट आई विल नॉट गोइंग टू टेस्ट यू के जी विद इन गोल्स टारगेट्स कौन कौन से हैं ऑल दैट आई वुड वॉन्ट यू टू अंडरस्टैंड इसके जी गोल्स कौन से हैं वो एट गोल्स कौन से हैं वो एट गोल्स कौन से एरियाज को टेकअप करते हैं एंड आई विल नॉट टेस्ट यू गेन रिपीट आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू टेस्ट यू ऑन टारगेट्स आई एम ओनली गोइंग टू टेस्ट यू ऑन गोल्स एंड आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू टेस्ट यू ऑन टारगेट्स जो कि हर गोल के अंदर जो हैं वो मौजूद होते हैं so these are the eight different goals jo ke aapke uh, usme uh, millennium development uh, goals ke andar aate hain so again humne aapse pehle bhi baat ki ke institutions and organizations like un play a very very important role with respect to how uh, with respect to the importance of corporate social responsibility or with respect to how corporate responsibility or corporate social responsibility is viewed by governments and by organizations as well and remember jab maine aapko last lecture mein bataya tha ki governments ke liye कॉपरेट रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी इज एज इम्पॉर्टेंट बिकॉज गवर्नमेंट को अगर आप एक एक एंगल से देखें इट इज ऑल्सो एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन जिसके गोल्स ऑब्जेक्टिव होती हैं और वो स्टेक होल्डर्स की नीड्स को फुलफिल करने के लिए प्रोडक्ट्स एंड सर्विसेज लाता है सो ऑटोमेटिकली जस्ट इट्स लॉजिकल कि वेन द गवर्नमेंट इज गोइंग टू बी थिंकिंग और विल बी कमिटेड टूवर्ड्स कॉपरेट रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी दैन ऑटोमेटिकली द corporations which are working within the domain of a country will also be automatically committed towards corporate responsibility initiatives and they will also be committed towards uh, doing good for the society and working for the betterment of the environment as well so i guess here i'm going to end my lecture number 31 the slide that you're seeing i'm not going to go through it i'm going to use this slide in my next lecture and hopefully when i will meet you next time that is going to be our very last lecture which is lecture number 32 we will be finishing our book and we're going to have a very quick super quick recap of what we've done in this course right so is lecture ka hum recap ye karte hain ki what we've discussed in this chapter is that we were trying to find out is if a common uh, csr framework can is easy to develop or not and we said that डेवलपमेंट की तो आप अगर आप बाद में बात करें अगर सिर्फ आप इस वर्ड को ही देख लें कॉर्पोरेट सोशल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी को विद इन दिस वर्ड आपको प्रॉब्लम्स आती हैं कॉर्पोरेशन इज इजी टू डिफाइंड सोसाइटी इज नॉट इजी टू डिस्क्राइब एंड सिमिलरली रिलेशनशिप्स और और रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज इज इंटेजनेबल सो इट इज डिफिकल्ट टू मेजर सो इट बिकम्स एक्सट्रीमली डिफिकल्ट इट्स नॉट इजी फॉर फॉर पीपल फॉर रिसर्चर्स टू कम अप विद बेसिक सी एस आर फ्रेमवर्क विच कैन बी अडोप्टेड बाई ईच एंड every company operating anywhere in the world the point that is being made here is that the fact has been established that csr is important or corporate responsibility is extremely important with this particular fact in mind companies should be committed to customizing 
देर ओन फ्रेम वर्क जब आप इन्फोसिस की बात करते हैं जब आप टाटा की बात करते हैं जब आप फिलिप्स की बात करते हैं वेन दीज कंपनीज हैव डन इट वाई कांट योर कंपनी एंड माई कंपनी डू इट एज वेल सो द पॉइंट दैट वी ट्राइंग टू मेक हेयर इज इट कंपनीज नीड टू हैव देर ओन सी एस आर फ्रेम वर्क देर ओन कस्टमाइज टेलर मेड सी एस आर फ्रेम वर्क सो दैट दे कैन सी देर ओन नीड्स दे कैन सी देर ओन द कल्चर्स एंड द हिस्ट्री ऑफ द कंट्री इन विच देर ऑपरेटिंग दे शुड डू अ नीड एनालिसिस ऑफ द स्टेक होल्डर्स एंड देन they should see ki kaun si cheez wo kar sakte hain kaun si cheez nahi kar sakte and what should be kept in mind with implement while implementing csr framework is that csr practices cannot be imitated so if if one country is doing one thing successfully in one country the chances are that the same concept cannot or will not be uh, will not be uh, successful in another country so companies need to see the culture the history the socio economic situation the political situation of the of, of the countries they are operating in and then make a tailor made इन टेलर मेड सोल्यूशन और इस रेफरेंस से स्पेशली जो आपकी मल्टा नेशनल कंपनीज हैं या ट्रांस नेशनल कंपनीज हैं उनका काम डबल हो जाता है बिकॉज पाकिस्तान की सोशो इकोनॉमिक सिचुएशन फ़र्क है प्रोग्राम आपका टेलर मेड होगा वो कंपनी किसी लेट से स्वीडन में जाकर काम करती है वहाँ की सोशो इकोनॉमिक सिचुएशन पोलिटिकल सिचुएशन फ़र्क है वहाँ का प्रोग्राम सी एस आर का फ़र्क होगा यू एस में जाकर काम करती है वहाँ सी एस आर फ्रेमवर्क फ़र्क होगा सो सिंगल कंपनी विल बी यूजिंग मल्टीपल सी एस आर फ्रेमवर्क वेन इट्स ऑपरेटिंग इन डिफरेंट पार्ट्स ऑफ द वर्ल्ड so that was one thing that we discussed the other thing that we talked about in this lecture was about the fact ki ji jab aap sustainability ki baat karte hain aur jab aap corporate responsibility ki baat karte hain international organizations like un play a very very important role because they are the ones jo ki aapko general guidelines de deti hain aur humne ye pehle bhi baat kar chuke ki it is institutions like un which are going to provide you with guidelines like the millennium development goals then these millennium development goals will be taken up by the countries themselves and when the countries will take them up then automatically rules regulation legislation policies will be made so that the corporations also try to fulfill the goals which have been set up by those international standards and then ye international standards jo hain wo aapke standards set ho jate hain through which with which you can compare your performance with aur is reference ke sath is zehen ke sath humne millennium development goals ko in detail padha tha ki ji wo kaun se eight goals hain aur then unke eight goals ke andar kaun se targets jo hain wo aate hain aur end mein humne aapko ye bhi kaha tha ki with reference to your papers we are going to test you on the goals and not the targets right So that is what we did in lecture number 31 and till lecture number 32 Allah Hafiz